Hello, I'm Tom Fletcher, one of the developers of Groundhog, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your borehole and cross section data into 3D. First, I'm going to go to the Help tab and I'm going to load the sample project. This will just give me some data to work with. Now, I'm going to click on this cube across the top next to the new map window button and that opens the 3D window. Now we've got the 3D window in the middle, drag to rotate, middle mouse to pan, and on the left hand side we've got all of the tools we might need. So I'm going to open the layer control which you'll be familiar with from the map window and section window in Groundhog. If I click the add layers button I get a nice list of layers available to me. So I'm going to first off select some boreholes. You can select multiple layers here but I'm just going to do one at a time. Now that I've chosen the boreholes they've all entered into the 3D window here. Each borehole has a selection of little disks representing each individual geological layer. We'll get a name at the top. If there's no data in the borehole, you'll still get the label for the location, but you won't get the information because there is none. So I can scale this up by going down to here to the Z scale slider at the bottom. And as I drag that along, it exaggerates the boreholes here so we can see a little bit better where the geological layers sit. We've of course got a X, Y, Z axis scale on the sides here and if I want to change what data I'm viewing then I want to go to the layer control and the settings for that particular layer. Now here we can control a number of things. There's the thickness of the boreholes which we can control with the top slider here. If you've got lots of boreholes we can reduce the resolution of the boreholes and this will speed up the 3D window or we can have them nice. You can turn the labels on and off and then here we can pick which data we are viewing. So at the moment I'm viewing uh, the geology table but say I wanted to view a penetration test As PT main, we can see here there's a white stick which is the location of the uh, of the borehole and length of it. It makes no sense to view the data in here by color, so instead I'm going to click view by size and then just adjust the thickness here. And we can see the lower values are represented as red thinner disks, and the higher values are represented as green. The lighter green, the wider the disk. If I open up the settings again, I can then go and pick a different piece of information to view. For example, if I pick the geol table, then I can pick legend. This time, it makes no sense to view that by size, so I'll change it to view by color. And now we see what we saw in the first place all of these disks. And just the thickness again. Rotating. The next thing that we can add to the 3D window is cross sections. So if I click the add layers button, select cross sections, click apply, then the cross sections that I have in my project will be added. There's only one cross section in this project, but as you can see cross section is here. That's been added in, spatially referenced. If we just flick back to the map view for a second, we can see that that is this cross section here. And going back to the 3D window, that object is currently centered. If I wanted to center a different object, what I need to do is 
click this button in the layer control, open in Object Explorer, select the borehole I want to center with a right click. And that right click will then center that borehole. So if we zoom in, this here is BH100. And if I go down and pick TP52, right click on that, then this one here is TP52. And that's really useful if you're trying to interrogate a very specific piece of data. And you could do that for the cross section as well. If you click that in a open in Object Explorer, right click on sand, then we're centered in the sand of the section. As with the map and section window, you can also turn these on and off visibly and change the transparency of them so you can see what's going on in the background. In the Object Explorer, if you wanted to hide a particular geological unit, first we'll look at the section. You can turn off sand, boulders, limestone, and see through. Or we can do the same with boreholes. So if I just center one of these boreholes again, there we are. Then I can turn off the whole borehole. If I double click, then I can drill down into the borehole and actually turn off the individual units. If I just zoom in and do that again, that unit disappears and so on. And that, very simply, is how to view your boreholes and cross-sections in the 3D window. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.